Hello, and welcome to another channel teaching. My name is Rena Wells. I'm highly intuitive. I have all the Claire's and the medicine woman. I work very closely with earth medicine, predominantly psychedelics like ayahuasca, psilocybin, to break psychological mind patterns and to come back into a natural state of mysticism and to merge the conscious mind with the subconscious mind. And I don't want to do too much of an introduction, so please make sure that you like this video and comment down below because I love interacting with all of you and subscribe and hit the notification bell. All of those things help bring these teachings to others who are struggling in the twin flame journey. There's a lot of deep insight that comes through these teachings <clears throat> and they also help me as well because I just become a clear channel and as most of you know I don't prepare I simply connect and allow spirit to speak through me. Okay let's get started. I was having trouble this morning with the masculine energy in the collective, mainly because my own twin came through very strong and was showing me a great sadness that's happening in the collective with the masculine energy. And as I was meditating, I was having a problem uh, getting the full message and so spirit asked me to pull four emotional cards that I have here to help guide this channel which is the first time that I've had this because I want to ensure that my own judgments and my own personal story do not get translated in the, any of the teachings that I put out this is for the Divine Masculine Collective and so as I was going through the sadness, it was just not the sadness of my own masculine energy, it was for the collective in regards to being completely lost in this world. And the first card that popped up was privileged upbringing. Now, there are different sides to this spirit is showing me in regards to the masculines. And I want to bring up first about the emotional realm of the masculines and the distortion on the planet of belief systems that we believe that masculines are not meant to be vulnerable or show their emotions because in times of combat and war and fighting for what is right, this is the distorted masculine energy, is that any sort of vulnerability will allow your enemies to know your weak spots. Now that's a very small piece of consciousness and of truth that happens during, uh, Spirit is showing me, uh, before colonialism that what tribes would do, uh, and even further back, was that yes, as a survival mindset, we have been conditioned that way in the ego. The Spirit also wants to recognize that that frequency of consciousness, if you can sit with that for a little bit, you can see in our world, especially as we move deeper into mysticism and yin-yang balance of masculine and feminine energies and how we view that in nature and how the earth balances in the cosmos, in our solar system, on the planet with the weather as well with the bees and the flowers and how we see where creation emerges out of the womb of the mother when seeds are planted, right? Spirit is bringing up that where we are at the place of consciousness is we are seeing that this little tidbit of truth no longer fits the expansion of consciousness of where we're at and where we are going. I apologize if you heard a tick. My heater kicked in and I 
taking it off so that it won't interrupt <clears throat> and so spirit is bringing up the privileged upbringing now not I'm all masculines were born in a privileged upbringing but spirit is saying this is the energy and the container and the system that was created to uphold what masculine energy is to be in the system to uphold what success is and to guise it under the fact that it is evolution that it is the next state of human consciousness of evolution of where we're moving you know the industrial area we we era we came into uh you know creating technologies <clears throat> that hasn't changed spirit is saying we continue becoming more advanced in our technologies and we continuously make um more things you know that's been going on for the last 100 years minimum 150 to 100 years even before then they bring up how guns were created and things like that however this container has set the bar for masculine energy to live up to and a lot of divine masculines have done this work now spirit is saying in the divine masculine consciousness when they came to incarnate you know these are high uh awakened beings right these are the egyptian pharaohs of past you know that weren't historically talked about or they were the you know <clears throat> the emperors and the kings and now spirit is bringing through you know they're the main chiefs that that ran huge tribes across uh, i've been shown you know california the california valley I, i'm not sure where that is geographically but they've shown me different plains and different tribes that were held by these strong masculine energies okay but as we fell in consciousness we took away the heart that comes from upholding such a strong stature for divine masculine energy spirit is bringing up is that it's disciplinarian but it is also vulnerable and loving and open and sensitive strict but fair creative but willing to distract when need when need to be but holds back the destructive power to exude the fairness and the vulnerability first okay of that great passionate heart <sighs> right and where a lot thank you spirit and where a lot of masculines are getting lost is that uphold of that vulnerability which comes with deep authenticity and truth and being able to express that that is a very difficult thing for masculines because the privileged upbringing is constantly over a masculine's head okay now spirit is saying these masculines that have come here have either come to a point of physical abundance in regards to of what's seen as successful in this matrix and the system that's been built but there's a flip side to that spirit is saying that a lot of our masculines divine masculines have had traumatic upbringings have had trauma have had addictions have had gone very deep into the darkness and spirit is now bringing up osiris and isis and this is a big misconception spirit is saying especially in the twin flame community that you know it's the feminines that can go to the darkest points and i've been shown completely different they want me to come up uh bring up a story that i worked with somebody in uh this past march or april time frame uh it was a client a past client who gave me a, a client who could not help this person who was working with a very dark entity was attached to her uh bleezebub if you guys look that up it's probably one of the darkest things that you can get and um this energy was so destructive and taunting and malicious 
that it sat, it, it tried to uh, poke fear at me for a good week. Okay, five days every night. You know, that it, it really showed me where I had to own my light. And this thing, whatever I was working with with this client, was trying to uh, instill a lot of deep fear in me. Where I, uh, and I'm going to tell you guys, I, f- I faced everything dark on this planet. So I didn't think there was much left for me to do. However, Spirit showed me that analogy. And if you go back to these teachings to the beginning, there is a playlist. So go back to one of the first ones that I did. Uh, I talked about that when we get to the bottom of the ocean, there is no light. You know, there are souls that are trapped down in that type of depth of darkness and me as a divine feminine was not fully aware of this and spirit is bringing this up because masculines can go darker and deeper than the feminine energy not that the feminine can't so they're bringing up the different levels of consciousness so that i could explain this better for your understanding They want us to look at the earth plane, the 3D plane, as the common ground, as the meridian, as the middle ground, okay? And above that 3D plane, we have 4D, 5D, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, however more dimensions. There's a lot more than 5D, you guys, that are incarnating on this planet, so I don't necessarily buy into 3D, 5D stuff either because I've I've worked with frequencies beyond that. And, but as you know, this 3D plane, there are other levels of existence intuitively that we can't reach with our physical senses, but we can reach with our state of consciousness through our third eye and the images that are activated in our third eye and our mindset, which is where people say it's imagination, but it's not actually, it's the portal into the mystical realms. And feminines have a great ability, feminine energy has a great ability to be able to go very high up in those states of consciousness. Not that masculines can't, okay? Depends on how much balancing has happened between masculine and feminine energies to completely come into a place of how far you can go evolutionary in different states of consciousness through the mysticism, okay? Now, the way that we move around in the 3D consciousness, which is this plane of existence, Spirit is saying that because the feminine energies have a greater capability of pulling in those higher realms, yes, feminine energy has the ability to go very dark, but there is only a certain span they're showing me that a feminine can... Uh, grow the roots very strong into the earth and that depends on how much masculine energy she's able to sustain within her own vessel without becoming distorted and now when i say distorted masculine energy that's the template that is running the 3d plane right now right um to hit that privileged type of upbringing, the economical stature of what a man looks like, you know, who can hold control of his emotions and not be vulnerable and to defend and stand ground and to fight, you know, that's, again, a small piece of where we have come from in regards to survival of the ego, right? But there's so much more to our being and, and masculine being than just that, right? And so Spirit is saying it's a big misconception that feminines, thank you, the darker that the roots go like in a tree, you know how deep the tree's roots go deeper into Earth's crust, it can only go to a certain point before a feminine will lose the balance of herself. And they're showing me there's only so far in the dark that you can work in and there's so far in the light that you can work on. And that meridian, that line, where love and hate meet, where, you know, light and dark meet. This is the line that we're learning to walk intuitively and mystically. And Spirit is saying that it's like a tethering string that you can only go so far in the dark before you lose yourself. You have to continuously come back to that middle ground of that balance. 
right within ourselves and the same if we go too far into the light we become very you know spiritually bypassing and narcissistic as well of righteousness of knowing what's right and if we don't balance that you know we have to come back to the middle ground and so spirit again is bringing up osiris that the masculine energies are able to walk very strongly in this 3d plane and it is up to the masculines to be able to protect the feminine energies to create a safe space so those higher states of consciousness can ground into the earth because she needs that grounding the feminine energy requires that grounding because that masculine energy can take that and they can grow the roots together to a certain point in the dark in the soil but the feminine can't go deeper uh, without becoming distorted and so the masculine takes the rest of that grounding energy and takes it down 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 deep as far as the masculines are able to go based on their soul blueprint and their evolutionary process at, the, at this point that they can go very down to the bottom of the ocean which is also a light that shines in the ocean Okay, because masculine is the creator force energy, right, of the sun. And because they hold that same potency as the sun, as the sun god Ra, right, as the masculine energy, uh, the sun, the actual physical sun's rays can't get to the bottom of the ocean, but the masculine incarnation of divine masculine energy can because they're hitting and sitting on that 3D plane. And so they can take that, what the feminine brings down, they grow together to a certain point, but then the masculine goes even deeper and can go to the pits of those dark places that the feminine cannot go fully, you know? The feminines would get lost in that energy. And I'll go back to the story with Belize above and what happened with me, because Spirit wants me to share that, which is very much an aha moment for me of realizing how uh, I require the balance with my masculine in order to do this kind of work uh, the more as time goes on and the expansion happens. So I'll go into, into that a little bit deeper because spirit is bringing through the mission work is not what we necessarily think it is. We, we still want to monetize it and put something on that and that's not necessarily it <laughs> as well. So Osiris went down to the bottoms of, of the ocean and so masculine energy can go way down there. It's a very tricky business in doing that because they too can become lost down there. But they don't lose the logical rationale, okay? They become somewhat distorted. However, thank you, Spirit is saying, Thank you. Their ability to suppress the emotional realm of the feminine energy is what helps them to survive in the bottoms of the ocean without the light. And it becomes a sustaining energy that they have to house and hold on to the creator force light within them. And this is where they become very suppressed and very sad. And Spirit has shown me this is where a lot of masculine energies are currently sitting at and are unable to rise to back up to the 3D level of consciousness to completely build and to be in their full vulnerability is because of the mind process of this privileged upbringing status quo that we have created in the 3D plane. Thank you. And now <clears throat> the Spirit is bringing up in regards to Belizebub and what happened with me. I truly felt that, you know, I could do this mission without my twin and to a certain point, yes, I can. <laughs> um... And that would be another paradigm that I create without him that yes, I could definitely do that. However, I am holding space for my masculine to return, but it's not a uh, waiting place. Um, it's just a place that I know that only he can be in. And whatever happens, I completely surrender to that point without hanging on to it and having an emotional response to it. It's, it's a fine discerning point to get to. However, Spirit is bringing up this aspect with Belizebub when this 
thing, this uh, entity kept bothering me at night. Um, I was getting pulled into the bottom depths of the ocean and the darkest places, and everything that I knew how to face darkness was not working. And I prayed to the Father, and I said, I'm in this really deep place. How do I get out? And I heard a small voice in spirit said, you know, I, that is why you have a twin. I can't. There are certain rays of sunshine that do not hit the darkest points of the ocean. It's complete darkness. And the rays of sun can only go so deep. And that's where I was. And spirit said to me, and I got this little glimpse of um, a message that that is why you have a twin. He is walking on the 3D. Think of your twin and that divine love and know that he is like your <laughs> life preserver. It's like a tethering. It's like the string, you know, you hear the Asian um, red string theory. I don't know if you guys have heard of that in regards to, you know, it doesn't matter with your twin or your divine counterpart. You both are attached by this string around your fingers and you can tangle up and whatever else. You're the same ball of yarn. No matter in the middle, it can be completely tangled up. You are completely still connected. And spirit told me that that was my tethering to the 3D plane to get pulled out of those deepest realms. And so I did that. I, I opened my heart to my twin. I felt that love and that divine light again. Because you need to understand, you guys, when I've seen my twin, especially what ayahuasca has shown me, it's a very holy connection. I see him as my lord, my my creator um and i know when he and i would have conversations that i was embodied the earth energy the mother feminine of the master plant of like ayahuasca and and i understand that i feel very comfortable as a divine feminine and um it didn't, it, I didn't understand the fear of what twins go through until I actually realized how powerful this connection is, you guys, that it is the reincarnation. It's the expression of creator force energy and of the mother energy of the womb and of creator force energy and how they actually come together um, in the earth plane, in the 3D to completely express forms of creation. And so when I was in those dark places and Belizebub was um, attacking, not even attacking me, because I've had demons attack me and try to poke me at night and things like that. that's actually not an issue for me anymore. Like I can face those things. This thing was so sinister. It was the army of darkness. <laughs> it's the best way I can explain it. And was telling me, do not mess with my contracts. Do not mess with me. Um, very threatening to me trying to make deals with me and I'm like I'm not making a deal with you and I had to feel my twin and it wasn't until then that I opened my heart again to my twin that I was pulled whoosh right out of the darkness back into this state of consciousness of 3d consciousness right because we have multiple states of consciousness within ourselves when you feel depression sadness you're getting pulled by the lower realms right when you're feeling anxiety and hypervigilance you're getting pulled also by the distorted light energy right because um we all think the further you go into the light it's all da, 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 it's all light and, and all of that but spirit is saying it's a mimicking effect okay that we have um multiple <sighs> right we have uh distorted energies that work in all realms of energy and to know the one true path is to then move away from all of these distortions and that's including people that use spiritual bypassing and the light energy and everything's like oh everything's so beautiful all the all the time and it's not <laughs> that's also distortion that darker entities uh they're showing me they piggyback on on those concepts and it puts like a veil of white light around them and people think they're actually working with light for now you are the best discernment of knowing who you're working with so we're not gonna I'm not gonna go into that 
but Spirit is saying the twin flames are here because in the 3D plane, we act as that anchor for one another, okay? Just as divine feminine energies, as they're walking around in the 3D plane, they're able to bring in those higher concepts so that it acts as a light force for divine masculines who are able to work more vigilantly in the 3D plane and it shines like a, a beacon for them to come back to the feminines, okay? It's like their, their well, their well of water that they continuously come to replenish themselves. They're bringing up, you know, the scene of, I love the Ten Commandments, <laughs> something that I watched, my family watched every year at Christmas time. I didn't do it this year with my kids, but they're bringing up when Moses met his divine feminine, you know, she was at the well with the water, you know, and that is the energy of divine feminine energy. She is the well of the abundance, you know, and the maskins come to the well to replenish, to drink of her cup of love, to fill himself so that he can sustain himself in the 3D plane. And it's not to say that the maskins cannot survive without the feminines, but that replenishing continues the more awakened that a masculine becomes and if he does not replenish himself he falls deeper into those darker realms because he's got to sustain his light and suppress the divine feminine energy in order to survive spirit is bringing up in this privileged upbringing status quo that we have created in the matrix okay and so spirit was bringing up that card was because that's the mental concepts of where the majority of the masculine energies are currently stuck. That they continuously go back to karmic situations, to old behaviors and old patterns, because when they're sitting in that repressed state, instead of coming to the feminine for the replenishing, what happens is they become very fragmented. The more you stay in darkness, the more fragmented we become because we are stuck in the logical mind of trying to find our way out of the darkness. When in fact, it is the sacred heart, the sacred womb, the nurturing of the mother, right? It is of the feminine energy that replenishes all. She is, you know, you give anything to a woman, she will take it, she will multiply it, she will nurture it, and she will birth it. And it is no different for a masculine when he comes to his feminine, that he is replenished, that he drinks from her cup, that he gets more fuel, that he's able to create more in the 3D plane. And it's very potent because the twins are, compl are the same soul. So they completely complement each other, even though it may not look like that in the 3D world. And when other people see twins together, they're like, how are they together? But the energy is so potent you know it affects everybody it actually brings up a lot of jealousy as well um in the and when twins come together it ignites a lot of jealousy within others because everyone's searching for the divine counterpart and so yes it can affect and create when light shines so bright it does bring up other people's shadows no matter what and so in the heart space the second card that spirit is showing me was the fragmented piece and so a lot of masculines over many incarnations have been back down to the bottom pits of the ocean, okay? Because one, now they are trying to live up to the sustainable economic uh, energy matrix that we've created of what a masculine is, okay? And they are fragmented because it doesn't contain the vulnerability in the heart, Spirit is bringing up, they, they want me to talk about even my own son, who's a water sign, as well as my twin's also a water sign, but the emotional aspects of that. Uh, my son is much more sensitive in regards to feeling uh, an array of emotions and depth, not that the feminine energy cannot feminine energies are different in how they handle those array of emotions. Thank you. Spirit wants me to bring up the contrast here. Feminine energies can 
uh, move in and out so freely of the emotions, okay, that we express it, we feel it, we can move through a multiple array of them. They're bringing up my experience that when I work with psilocybin and the mass, it's a very masculine energy. Uh, I was learning and when I was playing guitar and the psilocybin, the father plant was showing me how to work with my guitar and music. Um, they were showing me how the masculine energy works. It's was, it was very fascinating and they want me to bring this up because, you know, they were showing me that I was able to go into the feeling of feeling the music at the time, but I could only handle it so much in my logical brain and then they would pull me out, back out of the feeling with the medicine that or the teachings that I got out of that feeling place. But it was it was a focused place, okay? I was focused on playing guitar. That's where the focus was. And Spirit is saying, this is how divine masculine energy works. It has to stay focused. It's not like a divine feminine energy where we can move and move from like one emotion and flow to the next emotion. And it's so this watery ebb and flow. Spirit is saying it's different with masculine. It's not that they can't go... Uh, and move between emotions, but they can't flow very quickly. You know, it's a focus. They're very focused and that's masculine energy. They see, they focus, they're the lightning, you know, they light up things in our world. They're, it's a brilliant ooh, blast, you know? And so they were showing me that when I was playing the guitar, I was very focused. They showed me the feeling of it, how the placements of my fingers were going, and the, to remember that feeling vibration place. And then I switched into the logical side and had to apply it. And it was a very difficult thing for me. As a very, I'm a very divine feminine. Uh, and with me and my twin, we are complete opposite, <laughs> very feminine, very masculine. There are twins that are, you know, more in the middle together can have been, you know, but for me and him, we are complete mask, very masculine, very feminine energies. And I remember in this experience, I was like, this is fascinating. I learned very quickly, whatever piece I was working on. But it was very difficult for me not to be able to flow very quickly between different various stages of emotions. While on ayahuasca, I can move very freely between the emotions. But in the masculine energy, I was shown how focused it is and applicable it is. And that it's not that we don't, masculines don't feel, but they take that and they apply it. And then they go to the next emotion and, and the next thing that they're working on and feeling it so deeply. Because the focus is that they're able to get more detailed information than a divine feminine spirit is bringing through the masculines when they're focused on that one thing. And they're bringing up like when I was playing guitar, it's like they're so focused, they can get to the fine minute details, they don't miss anything. And that's why they're able to create, create such abundance in that feeling place in the 3D plane, because then they're able to uh, bring up all of those details because they're able to go to the bottom uh, the many layers of that one emotion and they're bringing up that's how it is in at the bottom of the ocean they're able to go down to those depths to find uh, the the darkest and then find minute things that feminine energy just ebbs and flows through it you know it's like we're like the currents in the water and we just kind of bypass the coral reef as we're going by we're like bye <laughs> um, we don't necessarily stop there right so these masculines, their sensitivity in our world has been completely distorted, right? That they cannot stay focused anymore um, on an emotion. They've had to suppress it because they are sitting in a very dense place in our world that has fragmented their energy in the 3D plane because of this system that we have created thank you they want to bring up the warrior spirit because twin flames really are of warrior spirits because it takes a very courageous spirit to do this kind of work you know we are going through layers and layers of eons of conditioning and they're bringing up the uh <clears throat> the vulnerability and the sensitivity and bringing it back to like my son and how sensitive he is and the reason why our world has uh, denied that sensitive we've put labels on this sensitivity 
because they created the distorted feminine that oh you know oh she's on her period or she's on whatever the case is right oh look at the array of emotions that you know men you don't want to be like that masculine energies you don't want to be like that but that's not how masculines feel remember it's a focused and that they know it and they feel it and they honor it and they apply it then they go to the next you know and um this vulnerability is that they the the masculines on this planet know they don't want to be like this distorted masculine of how it's just for the economy and more money and uh, it, it blocks off their feeling place right but then they don't know how to be this sensitive because the world does not condone it they're bringing up back at the tribal days you know the chiefs and the warriors and the emperors and egyptian times and the pharaohs you know and not the pharaohs that we know in history because a lot of that's been covered up too they're taking it back before the burning of of alexandria okay this is predates uh ancient egypt that we know in our history books spirit is bringing up that the healers were the women right <sighs> to bring down these higher codes and the masculines protected that and took that medicine to build the structures to house such high potency vibration and they built these structures and built the calling and built the the things not for the feminine but for the world for the evolution process of consciousness of masculine and feminine on the earth together that's how they complement one another the feminine is the architect the masculine is the builder and the contractor and is able to protect the vision because he trusts in the feminine's intuitive capabilities and gains his own intuitive capabilities of how it's supposed to be in the earth plane now this is where masculine and feminines come together when they're emotionally aligned the feminine trusts where the masculine energy is building where it's leading her uh, because she understands that there's a protective nature and defending her ability and her sensitivity to bring in such high potent teachings to build right and she trusts what the masculine is leading her now, this is where feminism has taken a lot of this and distorted this but we're talking about masculine energy so spirits take me back to this and the masculine energy has been completely distorted to trust the sensitivity and the mysticism of a divine feminine because the logical world of the privileged upbringing system that we created does not condone mysticism instead when we see a divine feminine who has such a potent clear channel what do we say about people like that oh they're crazy it's not tangible she's insane she works in black magic or dark magic she's doing all these kinds of crazy things instead of actually looking at well maybe this is true maybe there's something here and masculine energies have been so distorted that when they do meet their feminine it is such a shock into the mystical world that it is it they cannot forget it because it ignites that deep fire within them that they know of what is truth and now these masculines who have come in contact with their divine feminines who have had their activation it's like a burning fire at the bottom of the ocean that that light is growing and growing and growing and it's getting harder to suppress and it's getting harder to be in karmic situations because the karmic situations sit at the bottom of the ocean right and masculine energies have been moving through all the different densities in the karmic energies looking to find that focus again of where to either plant their seeds right where they want to build but nothing ever compares to the activation that they had with the divine feminine and it's constantly a contrast for divine masculines when they are in karmic situations whether that be a person or an addiction or whatever keeps them trapped in those lower places uh it's constantly a contrast to show the difference between what has been built up in this world and what is the actual truth it gains the masculine trust in what he has known of what his feminine can bring down now it takes a very courageous spirit because that is a fragmented piece that spirit is saying comes back into the vulnerability they're bringing back the sensitivity something that has been suppressed in order to fit our world now they're bringing me up to look at the third 
card that showed up, which is facade or mask. And this is why a lot of divine masculines and divine feminines have gone into separation is because the masculine does not know how else to sort this energy out. And so the only action, because we must remember the divine masculines are not sitting at the 3D plane with the feminines. They're, they're still down at the bottom. They have been suppressed spirit, it says, for eons. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're showing they're showing me that they've had little glimpses that they will surface up from the top, from the bottom to the top again, but they'll go back down. Because it is a focused energy. Thank you. Spirit is bringing up because masculines need a focused energy. They come back to the feminine. And it's not, it, this is where the dance we feel in the twin flame journey. It's like back and forth, back and forth. It's because masculines cannot ebb and flow the way feminines can. They are a focused energy. Okay. So when they come up to the surface and they reconnect with the feminine energy to feel the feminine, they take whatever they're getting. They go back down to the bottom of the ocean. They bring up like beauty and the beast, you know. These masculines feel they're like a beast, you know, hidden in the dark. <laughs> and um, and it's to open that heart again. And when the masculines go back down, then they can sort out the contrast of the darkness of the karmic energies to the focus energy of what they experienced when they resurfaced. And every time that happens, they gain a little bit more of understanding of the mask that they have been wearing. Now this mask, okay, not being honest with the divine feminine is not anything personal towards the divine feminine. It is the way of how we have built our world over the last 100 to 150 years. It is also the fact that masculines, thank you, spirit is bringing up, you know, women have, uh, we get our periods, we get our menstrual cycles, we end up, you know, um, and not every feminine energy is in a feminine body. So I understand that there are other types of souls here that aren't necessarily in a feminine body. So I'm sorry if this piece, spirit says there'll be another piece for you. So just hang tight. Those that are in a, incarnate in a feminine energy, we have a maturing process of uh, our periods and our menstrual cycles that we know that signifies womanhood for us. And it's an auspicious time, you know, oh, I'm a woman, I can actually bear fruit, I can bear babies now. For the feminine energies that are not in a physical feminine body spirit is saying there is an initiation process that happens in the teenage years and they're showing me between the years of 13 sorry thank you 14 to 19 is the discovery of their feminine energy that there will be uh, significant uh, attributes that come into play that initiate into the feminine energy and it can be a lot of emotional upheaval and you will know what that is for those that are listening and if that when that applies to you if you're not in a feminine body because you can most definitely be masculine in a feminine but you're predominantly feminine but it's the emotional initiation that happens okay that happens they're saying between 14 to 19 20 years old that time frame that you've had to go through a great um, emotional conquest within yourself to gain access to the feminine uh, maturing uh, divine feminine energy from adolescence okay okay <clears throat> and so the masculine energies don't have this ritual of coming into manhood okay what that does what we do in our system is continue to stuff the emotions and the vulnerability and tell the masculine energies to work to work 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 in a system that a privileged upbringing to prove your worth to prove they're bringing up you know back in the day like i have 20 goats and that man only has two <laughs> you know it's like a competition that's the distorted masculine divine masculine energy is not competitive because the divine masculine knows that when he is connected to the feminine he has an access point to a realm that no other masculine can it's complementary 
to other twin flames, to other masculine energies on the planet, to other feminine energies on the planet, and that everything just starts to fit together as a giant puzzle piece. It's not a competitive nature anymore. However, distorted masculine energies are constantly in a place of competition, and that's and to be in a place of constant competition, you have to stuff the emotional realm. It forces you to be wearing a mask and not being honest with yourself, okay? The last card is the betrayal aspect. And so wearing this mask and continuously functioning, masculines continue to function in the way that they were taught, okay? Thank you. <clears throat> They're bringing up, you know, um, sensitive masculines are also, you know, taught not to feel their feelings because if they are sensitive, you know, then they're taught that, oh, are you gay? Are you, you know, homophobia comes into play? What are you sensitive? Like we completely bash masculines for ever feeling anything. And it's very difficult for masculine energy. You know, I see it in my, in my son as well. Um, no matter what I do <laughs> as a mother, he needs a masculine to show him, how to be a masculine, you know, um, because a real divine masculine energy would be okay with the sensitivity being open and bonding so deeply, like with other masculines, um, without that fear of what we tell our masculines that, you know, that they are attracted to other masculines. There's like the sexuality piece consistently plays um, in our world, right? Because that lower matrix, again, go back and listen to the other channel teachings that sex and attraction and all of this sexual innuendos are the basis of what our system is built on. Okay. It's um, the deeper you go, there's always something about a distorted sexual energy. Okay. And so maskins playing in that, that also shows the mask that they're wearing. They're continuously wearing a mask. They don't know what they're attracted to because they've been told by the media, again, what attraction is, what beauty is, what is um, family, what is social structure, how to build. All of these things start to fall away, especially when a masculine meets his feminine, because it won't be anything based on what uh, the masculine has learned in the distorted aspect of what's been created in the state of consciousness in the 3D plane. Okay. Okay. So, Spirit is bringing up how to... Um, Thank you. Okay. They're bringing up how masculines come out of the distorted masculine. This is why feminines are encouraged to really move into their path because masculines need this back and forth. They need time. They need space to take off that mask because it's not just been in this incarnation. It's been in eons, okay, of what has been created in our world of this uh privileged upbringing of what we want to exude to the world, right? And we're seeing that in all kinds of areas, no matter if you grew up uh, in India and not part of a privileged system, or you grew up in the US and you have been, um, that's the bar that every man, like that, that we're setting in the world, right? And from that bar that we've set of what masculine energy is to be on the planet, uh, no matter where you're from on the planet, you will consistently want to reach that place. And when the masculines have reached that place, it's still not fulfilling, right? This is uh, why when they come into contact with the divine feminine, um, spirit is saying <clears throat> they need to come back and forth, back and forth, okay? That the contrast of the karmic energies will push them to rise up to the surface of, of the water, back up to to the feminine energy they will feel it they may get scared they'll pull away again but as they are back in their darkness they can't forget that light they can't forget that connection and they're showing me the same way as what i was shown in the masculine medicine of psilocybin uh it was a very difficult thing for my brain to comprehend um focus energy and moving into applied you know, feeling the emotion down to the right details of the emotion, so detailed in how I was moving my hands and how I was understanding masculine energy to be so focused, a step-by-step -step process of how the feeling was 
moving my extremities to create something of a form of expression of music through the guitar that then it came all the energy moved into the left part of my brain and I remember the tingling in the left side of my brain was being activated so that I it, it's a very genius intelligence energy remember that masculine energies have a very high intelligence it's not intelligence of this world right this world and the concepts of business in this world, it's very easy for a masculine. They can move through that no problem. You know, <clears throat> most of these divine masculines have already mastered a lot of the 3D economic place in the 3D world. But what it is now is getting to the higher intelligence, the creative side, right? A lot of them are artists, musicians, and they don't even know it, right? Because this is another form of genius intelligence. We're moving into age of Aquarius of this coming down through the channel, through the divine feminine, right? Because they're feeling that energy move through the divine feminine and into themselves. And so as they're moving and taking all the details of that and applying it, they then apply the knowledge they try to apply it in their karmic situations, they try to apply it in their current life, they try to fit it into the system. They soon realize it doesn't work, they fall back down, the mask comes on either harder until they feel the contrast again and then they're back up to the surface. And this is the masculine's dance so that because they can't ebb and flow like a divine feminine, they need this time to be able to sort out the masculine's conditioning and what they have learned a distorted masculine to be and where they're moving into how to be a divine masculine. Okay. Now, Spirit is saying that dance between coming up to the surface and going back down into karmic energies becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, right? Until they gain the courage that they're so done with all of those uh, distorted contrasts that they're ready to burst out of the water. Okay. Now, when a masculine returns to a feminine's life, when that dance has been going back and forth and feminines are told, do not wait, right? Do not wait fully for your masculine. You can hold a space in your heart that yes, this is the ultimate of what I desire, but it is, I will be fine if it doesn't happen, okay? We have to, feminines are to master that vibration because feminines ebb and flow. We're able to move through all the emotions without an attachment of a story or a distortion, right? That's divine feminine. Go listen to the divine feminine channeled uh, from last week. <clears throat> and so feminines, thank you, spirit is saying, has been learning to cultivate and to move and to ground the energies in the roots into the soil to the depth that she can currently do right? Because remember, masculines take that further down, okay? Um, because feminines are bringing up a higher channel down to the earth plane. And whatever she is doing at this point, she's able to ebb and flow through all the different emotions that when the masculine comes back, she's able to move with him and bring the medicine to him so he can and he may be focused on just one thing. He may not be able to ebb and flow through all the different aspects fully. But when the spirit is showing me when the twins come back together, there's such a merge the second time with the energies they're showing me that they the masculines will be able to ebb and flow much better because they're able to swim in the womb of the feminine, right? Be able to move through all this magical, intuitive stuff that they haven't had before. It'll be very much, they're saying, much stronger than the first activation, that it would be a very heightened state. Um, but then there'll be another break. Not that they'll break apart, but there'll be a quiet time to integrate that into the 3D plane as well. And Spirit is saying this is why uh, separation is um, a lot of twins are geographically away from each other, uh, or there's a big age gap, or things like that, because <clears throat> there has to be a certain point of back and forth to each individual twin to cultivate those energies so that they know how to move back and forth between this, these divine energies, okay? Uh, until they're able to come fully together. 
in a union. All right. So where masculines are moving to spirit is saying in the collective right now, a lot of them are getting ready to burst out of karmic situations. They're ready uh, to discover what a real masculine energy is to be like, and they're ready to build. Now, what that means is that they want to be the support, thank you, Spirit is saying, for other masculine energies on the planet so that that can be housed to build solid foundations. Because Spirit is saying it's not just, it's not the return of the feminine. The feminine energies have been here to be able to <clears throat> not attach, thank you, not, thank you, Spirit, not attach to the stories in the, and to, uh, uh, in the emotional realm and how to become a very clear channel, that's Divine Feminine, of allowing all energies in and out and the mastery of that, okay? Feminines have been doing that for eons, Spirit says, okay? Masculines have not. Masculines have been the ones that, thank you, they're bringing up Jesus now, okay? They're bringing up um, why Osiris went to the pits of hell, okay? Why Jesus went on the cross. Why Moses was the one that went up the mountain. Spirit is saying, these masculines know that they have to protect the divine feminine with the teachings that she brings down. And they are the ones that have been ostracized. Not to say the feminines haven't, Spirit is saying, okay? Feminines always had other feminines to support each other. But it was the feminines that eventually turned against the masculine energies for not being upstanding men or being upstanding masculine energies and protecting them. Okay, the distortion on our planet took away the feminine energy, bounded the feminines together, created an abandonment issue for divine masculine energies because the feminines first were the ones that were distorted so that the masculines could not find their feminine on the earth plane and the grid lines were completely distorted. Okay, and the masculines were the ones that were attacked because they are the frontline workers. <laughs> They're showing me the warriors who are there to protect. When Jesus, to protect the feminine's channel. When Mary Magdalene, if you read the book of Mary Magdalene, it's been found, you guys. This is not I'm not making this up. I'm very into history and all of these different things and putting things together, okay? The book of Mary Magdalene was found, and uh, you should read it, okay? That... There are a lot of teachings that are coming through now that are showing that, you know, Jesus was protecting the feminine energy, okay? Uh, scholars made her out to be, you know, a prostitute. It was a protection of the feminine energy of what feminines bring down because they, they are the architects. You cannot build without the architect, right? Uh, Moses went to the mountain, right, to protect the knowledge of the support of what his wife gave gave to him. Now, there wasn't a lot of talk about what his wife was, but they're bringing up the saying, you know, behind every good man is a strong woman. Don't forget that. It's very true because it's the architect. We are the architects, right? The feminine energy are the architects. Now, Osiris went to the pits of hell, right, and was dismantled. It's fair to say that's a whole metaphor and symbolism of what the masculines do to defend the divine feminine. And spirit is saying, while masculine and feminine energies are in separation, there is going to come a point when the mask comes off for the masculine that they have gained enough awareness of contrast between the depths of the of the ocean where the karmic energies lie to when they rise up to the ocean to meet the feminine and this back and forth that they've been doing to know divine truth, to know where they're being called, okay? Spirit is saying that they eventually realize that they have to stand in their world against family, friends, all old energies that have known the masculine, have noticed that this masculine has changed completely. And for this masculine, his first test is going to be to protect the feminine against the karmic energies, against families that are also karmic, right? Because we choose traumatic family lines to come into to heal. They're not our true soul family, okay? Twins are not born into true soul family lineages. We, are, we choose families that require massive healing but have a lot of gifts in the lineage so that we can leverage that DNA, help and save the DNA, but then to uh, stand up 
and set a new template for that family lineage okay so that that lineage can survive as we expand in consciousness and so the masculines learn to stand up for themselves to make their decisions to say to any karmic situations whether that's family friends addictions whatever it is that's keeping them down there that this is the path that they are walking it is a trial and a walk of justice, Spirit is saying, a walk of ending karma, the walk of completely revitalizing their true force at the expression of creator, the sun god, Ra, to come back into full expression to walk on the earth. Okay. And this is why Spirit is saying it is a um, return of the masculine energy. This is why we have the return of Christ consciousness, okay? Thank you. And Spirit is saying a lot of the intuitive knowings, thank you, Spirit is saying, are brought back, are brought down by the feminines. They express it, they talk about it. And the masculine shines light to it. And thank you. The masculines are able to take whatever the feminine gives. Once that, once that mask is removed, once they became very honest with themselves, once they gain the courage, right? Well, I'm seeing the lion, like uh, the Lion King, you know, like that courage of returning. Remember when Simba left his land and he came back to claim his kingdom? Um, he realized that he was a king. This point is where masculines are coming to, okay? So that, thank you. Spirit is saying when they come to reclaim it, okay, it will bring karmic justice and healing to everyone, and they will be able to take anything that the feminine is channeling and bringing down teachings, programs, whatever the feminine is doing in the mission work, and is able to package it, is able to, uh, because the, thank you, Spirit is saying the masculine knows the 3D world, knows the matrix, knows the system that was built, because remember, they, they've had to um, live up to that standard, right? Spirit is saying they'll be able to use all of those things to package it, to bring light to it, to make it a shiny package so that other people can come, will be drawn to it. But inside of that will be the deep medicine of the feminine, whatever they're doing together. And it's not a trick, Spirit is saying. It is to ignite multiple states of consciousness and other beings. This is the healing mission, you guys, so that everyone's attracted at different levels of consciousness will come to the twin flames. That's how they work together. That's why twins can heal thousands and thousands of people once they come into union, because the packaging that the masculine can create in the 3D world and the depth of the medicine that, that is brought down by the feminine are so complementary that it's expanding multiple layers of consciousness when twins come together. Okay. And that is the pure essence of divine masculine energy, that they are so sensitive that is coming back to this sensitivity. They are so sensitive that they are open to what the energies of the 3D world are showing them. Okay where to move, how to move, what's logically right right now, what's not right, you know. And when masculines are questioned, this bring it, the spirits bring this up, that a lot of karmic energies will question their state of mind because karmic energies cannot trust the guidance that these divine masculines are getting from spirit, okay? And from the grid lines, masculines work with the grid lines of the earth, the natural grid lines of Mother Earth, and where the medicine flows in the earth. They are pulled to different locations geographically. There is medicine from either other past lives and other times that they know that they need to travel to these different places to gain a deeper understanding of those energies. They feel those energies filter into their system, and they're able to work with them and move with them and build with them. Okay, so masculines understand the movement of energies in the 3D plane a lot better than a divine feminine. Okay, and this is where the masculines are moving into right now. It's a deep trust of what they have gained over the years of the contrasting between the darker forces, excuse me, and what the feminine, and after meeting the feminines and sorting that out. 
and however the masculine's guide thank you spirit is saying when a masculine fully wakes up and is ready to merge with the feminine though all those masks will be gone right because they know this the sacredness of this now the of the connection they understand that they have a high responsibility to honor such potent energy that's coming down that they know that they have a job to protect feminine and to build and to stand up for their truth and that creates a safe container for the mission to fully ground into the earth plane and in correspondence to that they are able to drink freely from the well of the feminine and when they when a masculine does that he sees the feminine fully and it's that recognition because we have to understand feminine energies are just oh la, i'm ebbing and flowing this is beautiful but when a masculine sees her it gives her purpose because a lot of her ideas a lot of her the mission that comes down it's so big it's a large energy that it's hard to see the details of that that's the focus of the masculine okay and so these masculines are really about to break forth. I'm seeing this, the Jesus, the heart flame of, of Christ consciousness, that flame, that flaming heart to bring in that sensitive, to bring in the nurturing, the disciplinarian. The spirit is saying masculines are the ones that discipline the children. <laughs> okay. Set those rules, the focus rules, the structure. We have taken parenting away from masculine energy too. Okay. It is not the feminine spirit has shown me not just the feminine that disciplines it is the masculine that understands the rules the focused the detailed 3d plane how to survive in the 3d those viewpoints of divine masculine is needed for the children to keep them safe and a divine feminine would understand that the divine feminine would bring through the emotional nurturing that the children need and require to create a safe home and to have that emotional stability however when things become a ray it's hard for a mass for a feminine thank you spirit it's hard for a feminine to completely discipline she needs that structure to support her and for the masculine to enforce that and that's how masculines have also been taken away out of the family out of building a, a a strong unit okay and masculines have actually become afraid of their children okay because they have not been given that opportunity for eons to be a disciplinarian and being a disciplinarian doesn't it's not a bad term you guys we need structure and <laughs> the spirit is bringing up you know when i do the moon dances you think i want to starve myself for four days due to do two sweat lodges a day a day and dance from like sundown to sun to sunset to sunrise you know i'm dancing from you know nine o'clock at night to like six in the morning like non-stop with no food for four days straight like <laughs> but that structure the moon dances this path of medicine keeps my feminine energy grounded and intact and disciplined okay we need the discipline that is the structure that is what masculine energy brings to feminine so that it can flourish okay and once the masculine realizes that they can bring up this responsibility when they come back to the feminine they are ready to accept this and to rise even further into their calling okay i feel that is everything for this channel teaching that's the true essence of divine masculine energy on the planet uh, I would love to hear your comments, any insights that you guys get from that. If you would like to work with me, all that information is down below. If you'd like to come to an ayahuasca retreat, send me an email. My calendar is open for readings until the end of January. So if you would like a forecast reading or just a regular reading, it's a limited offer. I can only open every certain times of the year because I get way too busy and it's too hard for me to read all the time. So if you would like that, all of that information is down below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell. You can ring my bell. <laughs> it really helps my mission to get out there, you guys. I really want people to hear these complimentary energies so that they can, they can, you know, understand where they are in their path as well. I'm sending you guys so much love. Namaste. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.